Hello my friends, Paul here in the Road Joby Music Workshop, just taking the microphone. <laughs> and welcome to part six of the five string banjo build project. Okay, so in the uh, previous episode, those of you who watched it will have seen that I fitted the uh, fifth string tuner, which is basically a wedge tapered fit, and it went in pretty tight, so it shouldn't fall out. <laughs> Um, and because it's, you know, it's, it's, it's friction fit, um, if I need to change it any time, I should be able to pull it out. Um, and it should be tight enough that it's not going to come loose, because what I don't want is, you know, if it does come loose, then I'll have to glue it back in. I really don't want to do that. So hopefully that should be fine. I'm pretty sure it will be, because that was quite a tight fit. And I've also fitted the, the rest of the tuners as well. So all of the tuners are now in. And I put my little um, screw in here to act as the fifth string nut. And um, I, I kind of ran out of time in the previous video. So, um, you know, it's, it, we're kind of at the final stage now. Well, not really, but I shouldn't have said that. What I meant is that the final, I don't know. But, you know, get, getting towards the, the final build. Now, I want to turn my attention now to the nut. Now I'm going to use the nut that came out of this neck um, for a couple of reasons. Um, I mean, you know, I would prefer to make a new nut out of bone, and I could do that, That's, it wouldn't be a problem, but I'm going to use the original nut to, you know, basically to save a little bit of time, and I might make a bone nut later on. But the reason I'm using the original nut is, although it's plastic, um, it's already got the correct radius on there you can probably see the radius over the top uh, you know which matches the radius of the neck um, so this has already got the correct radius with all the slots in the right place is <laughs> and you'll see a pencil mark at each end um, where I've marked so I'm going to cut it down obviously because I've cut the neck down so I'm using the inner four slots of this nut now I will have to um, file them out a little bit because I'm using nylon strings which are thicker than the steel strings. I will need to you know, make the slots a little bit larger but got to be careful with these plastic nuts especially these thin you know, electric guitar style nuts. They, they file really quick so <laughs> I've got to be careful with those. So I'm going to cut it down to length first. Okay so uh, let me just turn the camera around to where the vice is. My new vice, by the way, I had to buy uh, a new vice um, which is there attached to the bench. Uh, a bit bigger than my old one. So that's the new one there. This is my old one. Um, you can see this. I mean, this is basically just a jeweler's vice. But it did the job really well for as long as I needed it to. I mean, I had this a couple of years, and the reason I had to replace it and buy, buy this, this new one is because I broke this one. Now, when I say I broke it, I mean I broke it. <laughs> I basically snapped it in half. Um, you know, like I said, really, this, this is like a, a jeweler's vice, that kind of thing. It's for small light work and I've been using it for much more heavy duty work than it was designed for so it's not surprising that I brock it and I proper brock it <laughs> so my new vice it, it's bigger heavier duty stronger hopefully I won't snap that one in two <laughs> right so I'm gonna just zoom in to uh, the vice because I'm going to as I said cut this nut down um, to the right size I'm uh, going to be using my fine uh, fret saw. Okay, so, and this big vice, you know, because it, it's much, much stronger, but it's also still absolutely fine for this smaller, delicate work, because the jaws are really good on this. So, I can't zoom in too much, but you can kind of get the idea of what I'm doing. So, I'm just going to cut along those pencil lines, just slightly outside them. I'd rather cut it too long than too short. And then I can file it once it's in place. So you see how quickly and easily that cuts. 
being just you know cheap plastic. Uh, and like I said, I, I might might well you know put a bone nut in this eventually, but that you know it's a bit time consuming. And th this I can you know get ready to use in in a few minutes. Um, as I said, it's got the correct profile and the, and the string spacing and everything, just going to save me a little bit of time. Okay, so that's it now cut down to the right width, length, whichever you prefer. And I've also marked on there which, which is the base side. This should be easy enough to see anyway, but... Okay, so let's turn the camera back and angle down. I might not glue the, the nut in place at this stage either, I, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I might do, I don't know. Okay, let me just move that more in the shot. Okay, so now I'm going to just place the nut in and uh, I'll need to, you know, do a bit of filing just to, um, you know, get it to the correct proportions. So I'm a little metal file which I put back in the holder okay so yeah I'm just uh, just filing the ends off up to those pencil marks won't need a lot as I said God, that goes really quick <laughs> okay in the other end Probably shouldn't be doing this over my brand new headstock, but it's only a bit of dust. Let me just move it out of the way. Right, let's see how that looks now. And feels. Okay. I am going to have to glue it in place because it's, it's relatively loose. Uh, that's fine. So I'll do that right now. So a little bit of this uh, thicker super glue because it doesn't run everywhere. Oh, this one's blocking up as well, this one. Can I get that in there? No. Okay. So I just need to run a thin drill through that. 1.5 mil, that should be good. Just put a little dab of glue on the underside of the nut itself. Doesn't need it on the sides really. Just a tiny little blob when it comes out. Come on. Okay. Yeah, just a tiny amount so that if I ever need to take it out, it will come out relatively easily. Slot that in and line it up. Uh, set up already so that's not going to go anywhere so now while it's in um, oh dear, I've been out of shot the whole time I'm sorry okay so the nut is now in the slot glued in place and um, so I'm just going to gently file the ends of it flush so we don't have any little sharp edges at the end there as I said, being this soft, cheap plastic, it shapes and files and everything really quickly, so I've got to be careful not to do too much too soon. Okay, that's that side. It's almost there. I'm just going to spin that around to do the other side, it's a bit easier for me. It's being a 
a lefty. That's pretty good. Right, I'm just going to take the uh, corners off as well. Again, so there's no sharp edges. off the corners, making sure the, the smooth side of the file is against the fretboard. That's pretty good. Okay, I can always finish that up later. I'm just uh, doing the bulk of it for now. As, and as I said, I probably will make a, a bone nut for this at some point but this will uh, this will get it up and running okay that's good enough for now so that's the the nut in there nicely shaped I need a little bit more filing here and there but it's more or less there <coughs> Right, I just, I should have done this before really, but I just want to check um, that the, the outer slots are the same distance as each other from the end of the fretboard. And we're looking at uh, just about five millimeters for that one, and just about five millimeters for that one. So I think we're good. <laughs> okay, so the next part is to attach the neck to the body. Um, now, I'm not going to, you know, do this, let me just zoom out a bit, I'm not going to do this uh, sort of the, the final, you know, putting together uh, just yet, I'm just going to dry fit the neck because I will, I will be gluing the neck on eventually, I didn't really want to, but I want to make sure it's fully stable, so, um, but for now, just to do in the setup, because I, I might need to angle the, the net back a bit. If I do, then I've decided that the way I'm going to do that, rather than trying to, you know, sort of sh shave this and, and shape it and everything, and like I said, end up with a dining ta uh, a coffee table, um, if I do need to tilt the neck back, I'm going to put a shim underneath the neck at the front. So I won't know if I need to do that until everything is is you know put together with the strings on and everything so for now I'm just going to dry fit it right so first I need all my hardware to put it together um, so I've got um, this oh, actually let me show you so inside the body um, I had the the hole for for the neck there and I've decided to put another one further back as well so there's going to be two screws holding it in place so it won't rotate. Uh, this is the screw for the rear and this for, for the, the front or the middle, uh, which will also be going through my uh, pre-made bracket. And you'll see I've cut a notch out of there for the back screw to, to fit in like so. So that it all sort of ties itself together. Do we need anything else? No, that's it for now. <coughs> so I'll need an Allen key. Guess what? Oh no, there it is. An Allen key and a Phillips screwdriver to put this together. Um, I've, I've got to do it this way around. I can't do it the other way, so you're not going to see what I'm doing. But I'll show you, you know, what it looks like when I've got it all together. So that screw goes through that bracket. Oh, I must have had a, a washer for that somewhere. Where's that gone? <laughs> Good question. Okay, I'll get another one. That's fine. So I bought this little box of washers a little while back and uh, I've used it quite a bit to be honest. So it's one of those I think. Is that the right one? Is it? I think so. Hmm, maybe not. Let's try the next one. Nah, that's going to be too big. Oh no, that one's fine. Okay. 
is a bit small. Okay. Dang, 15 minutes already, are you sure? Okay, so, nut, uh, sorry, screw, washer, bracket, through the body, into the neck, and I need an Allen key to do that one up. So I'm not going to do it all the way just yet because I've got to put the back screw in and align it up with the notch in that bracket. Oops. Okay, so let's get start getting that one in as well. There's a hole. There we go. I don't like keep taking these screws in and out, in and out. I've already had to change, you know, make the hole a bit bigger and change to a bigger screw because it just kind of, you know, got loose. So I want to make this the last time I put them in before taking them out and then gluing it all up. So I'll just nip up that back one fairly tight so that it brings the back of the neck down. And then, I wish you could see what I'm doing, but never mind. So I now put the, the notch in that bracket around that screw and then tighten the other screw. Should be more or less right, like that. I don't want, again, I don't want to over tighten it and strip out the threads again. I'm going to have to make the holes bigger again. So just nipping it up so that it will stay together. And. Uh, so, oh, can you see that? Oh, just barely. So, there's the, the screw for the back part of the neck, and then the bracket in there with a notch, and that's screwed in there. So, just zoom out again. Now, I think you'll agree, this thing's starting to look a little bit like a banjo. <laughs> so, that's it, you know, kind of in one piece for the first time that you've seen, anyway. <laughs> Just make sure that that neck is aligned rotation-wise, and it seems fine. And you can see now with the with the two screws in there, that all fits together really nicely. So when I come to the final fitting and glue that together, that's going to be a solid joint. So because I'm going to be putting the strings on this now and and uh, you know getting up to tension, I just will nip these screws up a little bit just to make sure there's not going to be any movement. Because it will, you know, mean that my calculations might might be a bit out when they're not, if that makes sense. <laughs> so, as I said, with this nut, I'm going to have to, you know, recut the the slots in it, um, you know, to accept the thicker nylon strings, and I'll probably have to do the same to the. Where is it? To. Oh my god! <laughs> There we go. To the bridge as well, because this is a, a standard banjo bridge for steel strings and the and the the slots in there, which are basically holders, not really slots. They just hold the string in the correct position, and they're obviously again designed for the steel strings. So I'll have to open those up a bit, and I might also have to try and replicate that um, uh, the curve. The uh, what's it called? Oh dear. Anyway, the curve of the top of the neck and the nut. Oh, mine's got a blank. So I might have to try and replicate that on this as well, but not at this stage. It's not important right now. So, to fit the strings, uh, actually, there's one more thing I need. Just there. Now's the time. Okay. I might run out of time again for this one. Now, to fit the strings, um, I've come up with a couple of things. Well, first of all, I need to put uh, this brace in the back. So let's do that first before I waffle on and lose where I am. Now, um, I've got a temporary way of fitting this at the moment, uh, which works perfectly well. Um, I might change it later on. I might leave it as it is. So what I've got is this um, hose clamp. Uh, quite a sturdy one. It's one of those. It's actually one of those for a, um, a garden hose, which comes with the the normally the key, this key attached. But I took it out uh, so that I can do it up with this and then take it away because it will be in the way otherwise. So 
Uh, first of all, I'll put that hose clamp, uh, which way do I want it? That'll do. Over that bracket, then I fit my um, wooden dowel in. Oh wait, that's not going to work. Might be in the way. Okay, so then with the, the notch in the top here, that'll fit over that screw that goes in there. So if I've got it so that it fits absolutely bang on. There we go. So that's notched into there now. And then I'll put this clamp on and tighten that down. Oh dear, time, what's going on? He says. Ah, it's because I'm using the wrong thing, that, that little key. <laughs> Okay, so I'm just going to tighten that clamp down just to hold that in place. Just turn that around a bit. There we go, like so. So I use this key just to tighten that clamp down. Okay, a bit more. That should do it. Okay, and then I can just take that key out and it's not in the way. And that's holding that dowel in there nice and strong. It's not going anywhere. That may or may not be temporary or permanent. Don't know yet. <laughs> now, so you can see now that the dowel pokes. It doesn't actually poke out. It's, it's not even flush with that. It's, it's set back a bit, which is exactly how I wanted it. <coughs> now, for attaching the strings, I need some kind of tailpiece here, which I made out of um, this... This bracket is actually from um, a guitar tremolo system, electric guitar tremolo system. So this is for the springs. And it's normally like that. And I straightened it that way and then put a curve in it. I don't know if you can see that. So it curves to the, the shape of the body. Um, and I've got a, a piece of uh, leather from, from a guitar strap behind it so that that fits against the body there. And I've got these little nuts and bolts that will hold that on and so this this side is kind of felt that will protect the the body of the um the banjo <laughs> and then this this side is kind of the smooth leather side that will go over the skin there so that when the strings come over they're not rubbing against the body damaging the body and snapping the strings so that's all kind of one integral piece that protects the the banjo body and the strings and, and the, the skin at the top here. So let me just quickly fit that in before time runs out. Okay, so those bolts go through there. And then on the back, got the little washer. Little washer, little nut. Come on. <laughs> Always the way when I'm about to run out of time. Little fiddly jobs don't work. Okay, that's that one. And Let me get a little Allen key. Turn that. Smaller than that. Oh no, these are Phillips. Not Allen key. Oh yeah, I'll change them. I remember them. Okay. Okay, so that's that bracket on there. Okay. So there's a bracket on there and we've got the five hooks there. So the strings will loop around those and then go over this leather piece, which is going to go over the top of the skin there, which protects the strings and the skin and the body here. So with that fitted, now the next stage is to put strings on this, which will be part seven. <laughs> That's actually come quite good. So 
As I said before, I think you'll agree this is starting to look a little bit like a banjo. So, uh, as I said, the next stage is to string it up, which I may or may not do on camera, um, and then kind of get the first sounds out of this thing and see what it's like. So, that will be, as I said, part seven. In the meantime, please look after yourselves, look after each other. We will see you soon. Peace out.